there is truly this transparency that exists. And I think, I don't think you, in today's world, I don't believe you can discount that at all. So you have to say in the moment, we had 80 people in the room, they're all in the room. They all did the thought exchange at the same time. And we got done and we said, here's the top five or 10 things that you as a group said. And people are sitting there nodding or we'd say, look, one, three, six, and nine say the same thing. They say it a little differently, but they all say the same thing. So you as a group value or you as a group believe this. And so what we were able to do is validate the fact they said this and they saw it in the room and in the moment and they were able to walk away knowing that they had voice in that information. One of the things I did right out of the shoot was we decided that day one, we had all of our staff together. So we had 400 plus staff in our gym and um, we kind of took a leap of faith and we just said, we're going to ask a question to the whole staff right there in front of them all. And we're going to see how this works. And we're going to say, what is our biggest priority? If we, if we want to achieve success this year, what would that look like? And we were able to just do that in front of everyone. And I think what it did is it created trust. It built trust. It created credibility for me, but it also was very transparent. So the things that came up on the board, we were able to look at and, and in the summary and just say, these are the things that you're saying are important. And that's what we're going to focus on this year. So really allowing them to set the agenda. And the key was to asking the right question. So I think I don't recall the exact question right now, but if we want to achieve success this year, what might we focus our efforts on or something of that nature? So I really felt like it was a home run to start the school year and then even being able to address those issues right there, right then, and, and, and acknowledge them so that people could say, oh, wow, he's, we saw these things, they came up, and now we're going to talk about them right now in the moment, and we're not going to, it's not a planned answer or a, maybe a perfect answer, but it is an authentic answer. Probably the biggest thought exchange that, that we have completed happened in August of this year. So. We, we have put a lot of work in into adaptive schools this summer. We trained about 150 of our staff in adaptive schools. We talked a lot about the importance of values and beliefs. So we spent a half day, we spent the first week of school in half day meetings with nine different groups of, uh, of our staff. So each of our five buildings, and then we also had our maintenance and transportation staff and our central office staff, our board, a community group. And, and we took all of those groups and we did three hours of training, um, professional develop on, development on, on values and beliefs. So what do we believe as an organization? And then we coupled that with thought exchange and we, we did a thought exchange at the end of every session. So we used um, participation groups in order to take each and make each group's data so that we could give it back to them. So our elementary school got their data back that said, what does that, what do they value and believe? And then so did our high school and our middle school and our elementary school and our board. And everybody was able to get that. But, but the, the beauty of it was with participation groups, you can look at all groups together and combine them. So we were able to sit down after um, nine, three or nine, three hour sessions with all of our different stakeholders and say each group, this is what, what came out of the group, but also say as a collectively, here are the things we value and believe. So one of the things that came out of it was respect. And another one that came out of it was collaboration. So there was others that kind of um, they were different. Three and four and five were different, but those are ones that were in the top five for everyone. So we were able to take that information from over 400 people giving us input. And, and because of the ease of which you can put that all into thought exchange, we spent Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday collecting data. I was able to get up in front of our entire staff on Friday morning and share back the data from each group along with how it connected collectively to us as an organization. There's no way we could have done that 
had we not used thought exchange. And what it did is it started to show people all the things we have in common and where we want to go. And then we pulled that data back again as we started working with strategic direction. So the cool thing is the partnership that happened here. So um, we had adaptive schools um, work that we had done and uh, adaptive schools trainer facilitated. We had um, Riggs Enterprises helping us with strategic direction and we had thought exchange. So we had three great partners working with us to get towards where we're headed with our strategic direction. So it's exciting. We're not finished yet, but all of the, the heavy work's done and we're starting to piece it all together now. But we could not have done the work we did without thought exchange. <laughs>